hello friends so let's start with today's tutorial today we'll be looking at swipe controls so we'll be looking at volume swipe and brightness swipe so first we'll look at the xml the design so over here this code is for volume slider and for now we are making it visible just to see and this code over here this is for the center text which will be appearing so let's look at the design so this is the slider and this is the center text you might have seen in a uh, video players when you swipe from bottom to top on the right hand side of the player volume increases and decreases so this kind of layout is coming in the player so we'll implement something like that only so this is the design part of volume slider and the center text of volume now let's look at the brightness slider and its center text so we'll make this one as gone and brightness slider as visible again the center text for volume will make it invisible and we'll make brightness slider a uh, brightness center text as visible let's look at the design so this is the brightness sli slider and its center text so this is just the design we'll make it dynamic and we'll control it via the swipes so in brightness slider if someone slides from top to bottom or bottom to top on the left hand side of the screen the brightness reduces or decreases and thereby the slider also decreases and increases with it so let's switch back to code now before we start with the code we have to understand the functionality the touch functionality actually so now we are dealing with touch so we have uh, the so the most of our code will be inside this on touch event which is selected so let's first understand the functionality so if the user is playing the video the video player is playing the video right now and user swipes from bottom to top on the left hand side of the screen so what exactly is happening over here is when user touches the screen there is a event firing so the on touch event is getting fired and inside this on touch event there is the action down so the press is registered and then after when the uh, user moves the finger the action move is registered and when he releases the finger action up is registered so this is the flow and what we are going to do is when user moves the finger and when user releases the finger we have to do certain steps to increase or decrease the brightness because he has used the left side of the screen and if he uses the right side of the screen we have to do same things increase and decrease the volume so we have also have to write a logic to actually differentiate between left side of the screen and right side of the screen so this is the functionality what we have to do so now moving on to the code so let's move to on create method because we need to initialize the linear layouts text view 
and image views in order to make them dynamic so this is the initialization part for all those now let's go back uh, go back to the touch event because we are now dealing with touch so inside on touch event now when user taps on the screen action down is fired so inside action down we are making a boolean test said okay is equals to false we will let we will we'll get to know about this further and now uh, inside this if statement we have uh, the condition is if event dot get x is less than screen width s width is actually the screen width divided by 2 so the width divided by 2 so if the width is like 100 pixels divided by 2 is 50 so my tap if it is less than the 50 so it it is in the left so there is a integer variable uh, those uh, there is a boolean variable which is int left we are which is which we are setting it true and the right one as false so similarly if the get x is greater than the screen width we are making the right as true so this is how we get to know if the user has clicked on the left of the screen or on the right of the screen so how to get this s width screen width we have to go to the on create method so this is how we get the screen width we have to make a display variable get the display from get window manager and then a point then s width is equals to size dot x and s height is equals to size dot y there is another method for getting the uh, width and height which is like this so anyways by both methods you can get the width and height i'm using this method for now you can use any and after we know the user has clicked on the left or the right we are making a upper limit and lower limit so if the user taps on the screen and moves his finger upwards there should be a limit on how he can go to upwards go towards upwards so we are making this limit as s height divided by 4 so this conditioning divided by 4 plus 100 is depending on you I have just uh, used my own logic this is this logic is not taken from any other player this is my own logic you can create your another logic over here and might be you might improvise this code also so moving forward and over here we are uh, getting to know if we are uh, the screen tap the user tap is either at the bottom or at the top so get y less than upper limit if it is less than upper limit it is at the top and if it is greater than lower limit it is at the bottom if not these both are false and it is in the middle so this is how we get left right the taps if it is clicked on left or right or top or bottom so for now we are keeping the first tap the x and y value of the first tap in this variable base x and base y this we will need base x and base y further because when user moves from the initial point to the destination point we get to know where he has moved how he has moved so now when user taps and moves so the move event is fired over here motion event dot move action move now we have to make a other boolean screen swipe move equals to true so this 
variable screen swipe move will let us know the finger is now moving the tap is now moving so when user comes out means uh, removes his finger from the mobile phone mobile screen we again uh, make this uh, variable false screen swipe move as false so this variable lets us know lets the entire code know that user has now picked up picked up his finger and is not moving the finger so now inside the action move if control state now we have to know if the control state are in full controls because inside the full controls only we'll be uh, minimizing the brightness and maximizing the brightness or minimizing the volume or maximizing the volume so because in full controls only we can manage the controls if it is in the lock lock state so if we touch the screen and uh, increase or decrease the volume the user get disturbs L user locks the application because he doesn't want any interruption so we are checking over here if the user in the f user is in the full state then only you do uh, the increase and decrease volume and brightness so first step is will disappear all the controls when the finger is moving so user gets the entire screen now to move uh, his uh, move the finger on the screen so now we are making uh, another variable diff x and diff y so what is this diff x the base x which we have defined earlier the get x is minus base x so we get the difference over here similarly we get the difference of y and now we are uh, initializing the brightness speed so if the user moves from bottom to top with a speed if he moves it in a faster manner the brightness increases in a faster manner so we have to define some certain speed over here and here again we have to check if the user uh, movement finger movement is the horizontal movement or the vertical movement so if it's a horizontal movement then user wants to like seek the video forward or reverse and if it's a horizontal movement then if it's a vertical movement then it means user wants to increase the brightness or decrease the brightness depending on the tap if it's in left or if it's in right so first we have to check if the movement is horizontal or vertical so how do we check this if the diff y is greater than diff x so y means what y axis if y axis greater than the x axis so the movement is vertical so if it's vertical then we have to check if it is in the left corner of the screen or right corner of the screen if it is in the left corner we have to handle the brightness controls so, so these are the brightness code and if it's in the right we have to manage volume so this is the volume so first look at the brightness we have to define a C, uh, content resolver so we have defining over, over here we have to define a window so get window and then we have to get the brightness so we have get, we are getting the brightness over here via this code systems dot setting dot get end uh, we pass the resolver and then settings dot system screen brightness we make this inside a try catch if some error comes and, th and then we define new brightness so depending on our logic this logic is absolutely uh, mine and you can change it later afterwards while you are coding you can make it better this is not the proper version the 
players which are already in the market have the proper version this is just a demonstration of how you can do it so this logic is this logic can be changed so my logic is like brightness the current brightness minus the difference into the brightness speed so we get the new brightness over here if it exceeds 250 we are i'm setting it 250 because the maximum is 250 and if it's get below minus one we, i'm setting it to minus uh, equals to one then i'm calculating the brightness percentage over here then i'm making the brightness bar controller as visible brightness center text is visible and i'm setting the progress of the progress bar by the brightness percentage so the bar you see in the left hand side the orange bar it increases and decreases from here and also we have the icons uh, for minimum brightness medium brightness and maximum brightness if it's less than 30 we are setting the icon and image over here if it's greater than 30 and less than 80 so medium if it's greater than 80 so maximum and also we are setting the text over here and and then we are setting the new brightness via this code so this is how brightness is taken care of now let's move to the if user clicks on the right hand side of the screen what will happen is we'll change the volume so we'll first have to make visible center text of uh, volume center text is visible then we get the media volume via this audio manager we have defined this audio manager on inside the on create method so this is the audio manager we get this by get system services context dot add services though so we get the audio manager over here and we get the media volume the current volume via this audio manager dot get stream volume so we get the media volume and we also get the max volume from this function get max volume and then we like uh, we like calculate it according to the move so this again this is logic for this is the logic to means while moving the finger it should reduce or increase the volume so this logic is written by me don't follow it use your own logic make it better so new volume is like new media volume is like media volume minus the calculated volume so if it's greater than max volume it's max volume if it's greater than less than one so media volume is zero then we are setting the audio manager we are setting the new media volume to the audio manager dot set stream volume and also we are calculating the volume percentage and giving it to the this volume percentage center text and also if it's less than one we are changing the image of the volume as mute we, so we have the mute icon also and we are changing the icon over here and center tax we are making it gone if it's greater than one so we are changing the icon and making the center tax is visible and so, uh, we are also making the volume bar controller as visible because the volume bar at the left hand side of the screen the blue bar it's reducing and decreasing via this code volume bar dot set progress and we are giving volume percentage so in this way we are handling the volume when the user is swiping and at the end when user has swiped and now is lifting his finger up from the mobile phone screens we are making the swipe screen swipe move as false tested okay is false and then we are making all these brightness control volume uh, center text everything which is visible while the swiping is going on as gone as invisible and we are 
showing all the controls to the user after the volume has increased or decreased and that's it okay friends so let's check on the device now as you can see my i'm moving my finger from in the left and right hand side of the screen from bottom to top so the volume increases similarly if i move from top to bottom volume decreases and if i move my finger from top to bottom brightness decreases in the left hand side of the screen so if in the left hand side of the screen if i'm moving from top to bot bottom to up brightness increases so the code is working fine you can change the logic create your own logic